Nail Soup Media. We specialize in websites, web communities, and internet products. Okay, so what you're going to learn in this video is how to organize um, your internet presence in regards to uh, um, getting business in ways that others don't. And uh, this past week, I realized that uh, there are a lot of people out there that, you know, um, they they're professing things on Active Rain and they're and they're brokers and they're you know uh, mega agents with a lot of listings and they really don't know um, they they don't have uh, their elements aligned so that they get the business that they should be getting. So. Um, now, this, some of it may apply to you, some of it may not. So, uh, you know, just bear with me, okay? So, basically, um, what you want to do is make sure that your free uh, profiles on Zillow, Trulia, Homes.com. Sorry for the bad writing. I'm trying something today and it's not working. Um, Realtor.com. <clears throat> you want to make sure that your profile is um, as high up what they call the gas pedal or the meter as possible without paying for advertising. Now, on some of these, they uh, you know, um, and, it, and it's you know having a uh, a profile picture, having your about me done, having you know a video like on Zillow, they give you they let you have a video, and so. You know, you can easily put videos together, you know, like photos together and, 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 um, and, you know, have some music behind it and have little sayings that say, you know, uh, I service this area, blah, blah, blah. You can do that easily. You know, if not, we'll do one, you know, we'll do a very easy one for you. Just contact us. We'll do it for free. Okay. Trulia Homes and Realtor.com. You want to have all these filled out as much as possible. Okay. Um, you want to have a... Uh, YouTube channel um, for your business and you want that to have a business G plus account Google plus <clears throat> the reason why is um, if you have your G plus set up correctly as a business you can assign um, managers to your social media without giving them access to your Gmail account. You know, that, that way no one can read your mail, no one can block you out. You're giving permissions. You can't do that with a regular, you know, channel. And how you know is when you log into YouTube and you click on the settings button that um, it'll say add and remove managers. <clears throat> if you don't have that, then your, your YouTube channel is not set up right. The other thing you want is you want your YouTube channel to be connected to your Facebook and your G Plus and your Twitter. <clears throat> and of course you have to have, you know, uh, Facebook and you have to have Twitter. You want your Twitter to be to your business uh, Twitter account, your G Plus to your business. Facebook, um, at this point, they don't have it set up where you can have it go to a, uh, a business page automatically, but that's supposedly coming uh, really quick. Okay, so, and on your Trulia, Zillow, Homes, and Realtor.com, you want to have links back to your website. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, and on your YouTube account, you want to set up... Um, the account you want to go through every step on the channel description on the about page you want to have uh, links to Facebook G plus Twitter and your website and then you want to create um, like you know upload a video and then create um, playlists and the reason why pl playlists are important is because um, if let's let's say that your whole area you sell in a certain market, you know, like uh, of 
of Tennessee, you, you basically have noticed that your sales have been in five areas. Well, if you create playlists and then you take, uh, you know, for the city and zip code, city, zip code, real estate as a keyword, homes for sale, and if it's condos, you know, put condos for sale. You want to call this what you know what it is. It doesn't really matter because like like you don't, you don't have to worry what the client sees because this is going to get picked up by the search engines. <clears throat> and in these playlists, you want to put all the properties that you have done, you know, into into those playlists. So for you know uh, the areas. So if you sell in you know um, Franklin West in Tennessee, you know, <laughs> I don't know if that's a real place. But you, you do that, then you want to have um, videos. So and what's cool is that the w one video can go into a bunch of playlists. So, so the thing that I would do is, you know, get a promo uh, video, you know, and it's just a bunch of photos. If, if, if this is all pretending that you, and, and I guess I should, I should say this. There's a thing that I use uh, when I talk to people, um, you know, uh, that's, called zero zero marketing and zero 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 marketing means not moving an inch and not spending a penny from where you're at today right here this is you you look pretty good, huh? You didn't look like that uh, since high school, huh? Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so so basically, is what can you do today that's not going to cost you anything and it's not going to take you out of your comfort zone uh, or even your house? So you know, um, just that that from this point on, that's what this video is about. Okay, so now let's get back. So so there's things that you can do and also on the Facebook thing there's there's channel art and there's a uh, you know there's some settings and, I, and I'll have a video here uh, that will show you how to go through this the, the YouTube setup okay so now that you've you've got everything looking good um, and, and and this is the case then the one thing you want to do is get in the habit of answering questions you know um, uh, regardless of how, like whether whether this is a, a full time or a part time or a part time that you want to get into a full time position doing real estate, um, the the you know the questions and answer sections of the of Zulu, uh, Zillow, Trulia, and Homes dot com um, can can get you uh, to where the phone is ringing. Okay, so so that's that's something that I would say. You definitely want to um, work into now. In in that recipe, when you are on the internet, whether you're on those sites, whether you're on Yahoo Answers, whether you're you know on Quorum, wherever you uh, Quora, sorry, <laughs> uh, wherever you're at, you want to do three things. You want to look at everyone's um, answers, look at the question, and it's okay that you. Some people have told me, oh, I, I, everyone's already answered the question and da 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 da. Okay, that's, that's all good. I even have a video on why it's a good thing to answer a two year old Zillow question or truly a question, and you'll make money from it. The reason why is that these questions are asked at the time, and some of the questions, the market's changed. You know, the market today is different than it was a year ago, two years ago, four years ago. So, so by going back, looking at everyone's answers, you're at a poker table looking at everyone else's hand and getting to pick the cards you want. And in that, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity to, to show your personality, show your abilities. And the three things that you should look at when, uh, when you know, being an online presence is you should show your problem. Wow, I can't, I can't write today. Problem solving. You should show your problem-solving abilities or a solution. You know that you're you're offering a solution that others didn't 
write about or, or, or do, okay? The next thing is you want to show your local authority, meaning that, you know, um, people will say, well, you know, we're moving to the area and we need uh, a certain type of, you know, XYZ kind of situation. And that you're going, well, you know, if you go to Franklin West, you have this, this, and this. If you're considering, you know, uh, Jasper South, you have this, this, and this. So it really depends on blah, 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 blah. So you did both. You get you you gave a dimension to their question. You know, you, you problem solved and gave a solution. And you also showed off that you're thinking. You're not just, you know... Uh, putting these questions uh, and putting these answers in because what I have found is the majority the majority of the people that I deal with they just want to wham bam it just what do I got to what do I got to throw in here to get some business they don't really think about like you know putting putting you know, they, they forget why they got in the business and they don't understand that when you answer this question today hundreds of people see it and way back when in the 90s, when I had a real estate agent, she was talking to me, and she's like, you know, I keep, and this is before the internet was taken off, I keep, you know, uh, having to tell people the same stuff. They ask me the same questions year in, year out, and I have to keep saying over and over and over, bing. That's what's nice about this, you know, what, what's, what's happening here with these forums and the internet in general. If you answer the questions with the this these things, problem solving local authority, um, you, you, when you, when you have it on your website and when you have it in these, in the, especially, you know, these, these, um, websites get, you know, millions of visitors a month, a ton of traffic. And, and these people are not just looking at the properties. They're looking in the forums and, and looking, you know, they don't ask the questions, uh, first, they first look to see what questions are there and, are, and they, they'll, they'll, basically do a search and find them and then review and and then start uh, looking at people uh, they anonymously interview you based upon your your presence on these websites and how you answer so so the problem solving is one local authority is the other and the last thing is be an ambassador okay you know um, I've mentioned that you know uh, Brad Pitt doesn't run around on on you know uh, on the internet going uh, hire me hey hey use me call me here's my here's this here's that you know um, he, he basically will you know um, talk in a manner that uh, is uh, you know um, sorry I'm li my little pea brain's not uh, using able to use the words at the moment I'll, maybe I'll come back to it but but what I mean by this is this let's say you answer a question okay and and you, or you're about to answer a question, and you see that all these, there are a ton of agents have answered the question, they all have great ideas. Acknowledge that. Say, wow, you know, um, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, um, a lot of great um, answers here. Um, here's something that I'm thinking is that, you know, being problem solving, that your answer has a problem solving, your answer shows the local authority that, that you're you're thinking, you're not just, you know, uh, you know, uh, half assed, you know, uh, Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. What do I got to do to, to you know, get the prize, you know, uh, kind of thinking. And then at the end, you don't put that, you know, uh, well, here's my email. Here's my phone number. Here's my bathroom phone number. Here's the yacht phone number. Here's the helicopter phone number. Hey, have you called me yet? You know, don't do that. Because it 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 is, it, it, you know, picture that you just, that you have sold over $200 million worth of real estate. How would you answer these questions then? Would you run around going, oh, you know, call me, contact me, here's all the stuff. Is, you know, I, I, I see these answers. You know, I see someone's, you know, like, let, let's say this is, this is their answer, right? I, on some of them, I see one or two lines as the answer and the rest as, you know, trying to, to, uh, you know, sell me. Have you have you have you used me yet? Have you contacted me? You know, call you know, call me, email me. You don't need to do that. You know, get get rid of that. Make th make this your answer with a little bit of you know, if at all. You know, truly allows you to have a link. So and and if you look at some of the videos I've done in the past, you'll see that you know that's what you should do. So trying to wrap this up. You know. Um, 
this is how you need to set things up. You need to think about this and uh, I'll have uh, videos for you to look at to get this all set up. So that way, when you're, um, when, when all of a sudden someone finds you on these websites, <clears throat> that they then start doing research and, uh, you know, wherever they find you, they'll, they'll find you, you know, on Twitter, they'll find you on YouTube, you know, and, and what's really cool is when they Google you, let's say they found a really good answer and they start Googling you and they, they have your, your name, they put in your phone number, they put in, you know, like your business and they see all the buzz from from YouTube, from Twitter, from Zillow, Trulia Homes, all that stuff, that adds value in their anonymous interview of you. They're, you know, they, they find a, a great answer that you did on a question that was probably two years ago, but your update of it makes you look better. They then start checking you out on that website. They then start checking you out on on Google, and then all of a sudden they find, you know, uh, some YouTube, uh, you know, videos or, or things like that. That really you know, adds value and the next place they find you adds value. So now, you know, they're like, okay, we, you know, da, 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 da. So then, th then all of a sudden they, they see you on truly Zillow homes and, and they see a property and, um, and they think about, well, who am I going to contact? Sometimes because of, of your participation in the questions, you get shown as one of the agents to, to contact, you know, uh, on it, which is great. Um, on another, um, you know, uh, they, they'll then go back and, and uh, you know, research, go back to you and, and see that, that, you know, you've got a review uh, on these sites. Um, and uh, and that just helps with getting them to contact you. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop. It's it's uh, 17 minutes. So um, that's the thought uh, when it comes to uh, why you should set it up. The, the next video will be, um, you know, how to get you know uh the uh your listings if you have listings and you don't have a youtube account um you are are, are losing uh, a huge um seo benefit and branding benefit uh because you're uh, allowing uh virtual tour companies to uh to you know steal that that traffic um and it's and it's time that that you know, it's so funny because I, I see I just because of something happened this past week, I went and looked at uh, some of the top contributors in Active Rain that are trying to teach other people about about the internet, and eight out of ten did not have this, and it's just amazing that you know, no one thinks about it. No one no one thinks about how if you have listings, that's digital equity. Every photo. Every video that, that is created um, stays with you for the rest of time. And if you do it right, it will help you with, with SEO. It'll help you on uh, your branding because people see it as a property that you sold. And just, just recently, people are talking about, you know, oh, getting sold. You, you know, everyone, the buzzword is, is getting sold on, on, uh, on your Zillow and Trulia and Realtor account and, and to show it on your website. Well, we've been saying that with YouTube videos since 2008 and it's a thing where um, some of our clients uh, have it and um, and they they get business and they tell, they'll tell me oh I got a I got a deal from a YouTube video I saw really or they saw really what was oh it was a listing that I had yeah because someone else is is you know uh, is you know like the, on that street it's people sell homes on that street and and some are trying to list with you and some are are they typed in and uh, you know the address, or uh, and they f they found the video and the, the the fact that on the address, in Google you've got that that thumbnail and they click on it and they see that oh okay you guys you know uh, sold this home and they see the branding they see the the presentation of the video and they think wow okay let me see you know can you tell me about the neighborhood can you tell me about this and that so that's what the next video uh, is gonna be okay.